Hello, good morning. We're going to play tic-tac-toe. Now, what is tic-tac-toe? Well, you're going to need a pen and a piece of paper. Not like that, like that. Plain one and a pen. And let's play some tic-tac-toe. Let's have a go. I'm going to be, I'm going to, what you have to do is you have to put X's and O's. Whoopsie, X's and O's. There we go. Let's see, put that down just a little bit. And move that around there a little bit. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to put an X in there. And then you might put an O there. And I might put, we want to make a line of three, by the way. So I might put an X there and you might think, oh, I've got to put an O there. Oh, I've got to put an O there. And then I might put an X there and you then you'll think, oh, I've got to put an O there. And then I might think, I'm going to put an X there. And then you'll say, aha, I've got three in a row. Boom, I won tic-tac-toe. And what you've got to do is see if you can find a way where you will always win. And another thing is later on, is there a way of starting so that if you're playing with someone that knows how to play the game, that no one can win. So that it's always a tie. See if you can work that out. Right, that's tic-tac-toe. Now we're going to move over here. We're going to go to slightly younger learners. Something we do with younger learners is learn about lines. So we're going to, over here, there's a nice little thing you can do with lines, is you can do up and down lines, they're all straight lines. So up and down one, so that's a straight line, joining those dots. Now you can also do diagonal lines. So they go across. You can go, oh look, you can cross over that one as well and go all the way down to there. That's a diagonal line. Ideally use proper square paper so that it would go right through where all the dots are. And then you can do, you can even use these these words, this is a vertical line, an up and down line, and this is a horizontal line. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit harder to tell if you are, um, sometimes it's when you're quite young, sometimes you might think, well, that's a line like that. And so it's practice. So to get to where you're joining the lines straight, it's just practice. And everything's right. Everything's right. Everything's exploring. And it's just a matter of practice till you get to the point where you understand what a straight line is and how to make it. So you could do the same thing here. And you can even play a little bit um, like the tic-tac-toe. But you can play it, let's see, because tic-tac-toe, you can get quite quickly to a point where you might always win, but you can play three in a row on a grid like this. You can use square paper, like if you have one for school, and you get three in a row. Let's see who's going to win three in a row. Uh, where's my other pen? Can you see that? Mm, they look very much the same. I'm going to make that a solid dot. Okay, now we can see the difference. So three in a row, who's going to win three in a row? Well, I put that one there. Then orange is like, well, I better stop that one from becoming a three in a row. And then, oh dear, black has got three in a row. See how many times you can play three in a row before you work out the strategy of how to make sure, is there someone that is guaranteed to win? Is there someone that's always going to win if you play three in a row? And then you can make it four in a row. You know, you've got the connect four where they, they put the dots down through the grids. Well, what about you play, play this game four in a row? Well, now it's not too late for orange. Orange can stop black from making three in a, a four in a row. So, Blacks then, okay, well, what if we come down here? And now orange says, hmm, you're not gonna catch me out on that one again. I'm going to put one there. And then 
black goes over here and is it possible for orange to stop black is it is it possible to win four in a row if you come if you start second it's all a matter of playing the games and finding out and working it all out and that's what these games are about about becoming really good at thinking and it's great training to become great thinkers so first you can when you're very little you can learn how to draw lines and you can also there's another game you can play when you're little when you're quite little certainly five-year-olds can play this and this game here is a game that very young children will enjoy watching and then if you you can you can you can play it even if you're only little and um oh let's get all these lines drawn first these dots drawn if you even if you're only little it doesn't matter if you invent your own rules it's good to invent your own rules and then as you get older then you can start playing by more more you know big big boy or big girl rules but when you're little you can just invent your own rules and just play the game and and do the dots and see if you can draw draw dots in a row and take it in turns to draw dots this one here is a nice one to join join the dots so you can make squares take it in turns to join the dots to make squares and the way the game works is let's say if i now is when you close that up the first person to close up the square is the one that wins and that so that so that's an orange x so orange has won that one and you get an extra go you get an extra go if you're the winner you can go there and then blue is not going to be caught out blue if blue puts that one there then then orange is going to get another one so blue says no i'm not doing that so blue says i'm going to put one there so the orange doesn't get another one let's see if i can blue wants to get one so orange says well all right well let's put one there okay says blue i'm not going to do that one i'm going to start over here i'm going to go all the way over here and do one and orange says well i like the idea of, of putting one there and blue says aha look at that i can get one and get that one and then i get another one and then i get to have another go because each time you make close a, a square then you get to have another go so blue says right i'm going to go down here and you keep playing and then at the end of the game you see who has the most x's so that's another nice game you can play a little bit of strategy helps you with lines and so make rows of dots make like make squares with x's and you play tic-tac-toe and those are all games that you can play and you can invent your own rules when you're really little it's okay to play by your own rules and then as you get older you learn the rules and play by the by the rules you might even invent an amazing game that everyone in the world wants to play you might invent a new game by making up your own rules but that's it for today thank you for joining us and enjoy playing tic-tac-toe, playing three in a row or four in a row, or playing X's in squares, X square game, square X, X square, square X, X's in squares. Thank you for joining. That's Caroline from Bubbly Maths. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. We'll have our eight o'clock for, for grown-ups and older, older boys and girls eight o'clock tonight was preparation for tomorrow and then tomorrow 10 o'clock i'll see you again here thank you for joining bye bye